Okay, what's going on guys? Got a nice little free helper here in Google Sheets. So this problem comes up a ton and it is if you're going to use a Google form to populate a database and you need to um, apply a helper formula to your database. So let's say, you know, here's my form. I'm just doing a test uh, here. So you can see I just put in like, let's say third here, whatever the form could be anything. I submit it and it pulls in date over here. You can see first, second, third. If I do uh, another one here, just whatever, submit it. You see that populates here. So this is a problem that happens if you're using a form to populate a database or if you're using a script to hit a button that populates a database. And here's the problem. Let me try to show you what happens if I do a formula on this. Let's say I, this is some column I want to analyze. And let's say I want to do if, you know, this equals first, then yes, otherwise no. There's just some logic here that you're doing and you want it to apply to everything. Well, you'd think you can just drag that formula down. And as new things populate, it'll populate right here and the formula will work on it, right? So let's see, let's do another one, submit another response here. Just uh, let's do uh, another first. So submit, now look what happens. It makes a space and removes the formula. You now are screwed. So this happens all the time. So here's the workaround. So here's your form response. All you need to do to make this work right is you don't remove this formula here in column C. You don't need this keep this database as it is you create another sheet called your let's say data two or whatever you want to call it you make it the same headers as your a1 as your main database right so now you need to capture this with a range formula and look it would we'll just do a bracket here equals a2 oh, a2 to a hard bracket and now look you now it's going to pull in all data as it comes in here and it could be as many columns over as you want now let's say we run the formula logic on this sheet which is now not going to be affected so you go okay if this equals first then yes otherwise no and you could apply this down as many rows as you want and now look at what happens so now let's submit another one another uh, response here come on why isn't it going Go. so let's go um, tenth so submit and now look at look at that we have tenth up here the formula didn't get messed up here's the main place where it just came in no issues our formula is intact and it works let's do one more to just show you we'll go first again come over here up oh, look first yes our formula is working form responses showing up here so that's how you do it it's real simple this is the only the formula you need to you just need to know you do that hard bracket there it's uh like right below on my keyboard below the underscore and the plus and equal sign those two brackets and you just go shift and hit the bracket and then just target the range on your form response from a2 to a and it'll target everything as you add more data it'll automatically pick it up and this will be, you only need to have the formula in the top row. It pulls everything else. That's the formula you need. And then here's your helper calculation. You could have all kinds of helper calculations. You could have all kinds of columns here, hundreds of columns if you want. doesn't matter. This is just how you do the workaround. Because in Google Sheets, you often get that issue where if you're using a script where you're trying to like fill out something then you hit a button and it goes and populates a row well if you're trying to do any kind of position based logic that's targeting what's in this 
your whenever you insert a row here, it's going to actually skip your formula out. It doesn't work. So that's the workaround: is you just put in a range um, target and you just target the whole column, and that will allow you to apply logic to each row, and the position will not get you won't get a reference issue or or miss the data point. So pretty helpful here. I figured I'd give you guys this free tip um, because a lot of people probably run into it who are using Google Forms or trying to run scripts on Google Sheets. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I could do on this free video here. What else is interesting? Let me think about this. Um, The other way, if now this is only important if you need to tag every single row outside of like doing a filter, you could always do a filter and just, you know, you could always filter the form response if you only want to show, let's say, all of these if this equals, you know, first. Then there, it's only going to show those three. Um, but that's not really doesn't really matter for this. Well, I guess that's it. So have a good one. If I think of some more stuff, I'll try to do some more uh, free tips and tricks here on Google Sheets. But that's a, a pretty big issue that a lot of people run into, um, and that's the the workaround that you can use. So have a good one. This is SmartHelping.com.